Hey everybody. In this video, I'm going to cover how you can actually create pop-up windows or pop-up prompts to capture additional information from the users. So in this case, I um, let's say that I have this, this task, right? Uh, I've set up this app where I have a button here that lets the user mark a task as complete. And normally when you click on it, it's going to, you know, just change the status below to complete. But let's say in addition to that, I want something more open-ended. Maybe it's a date, maybe it's a comment or some kind that I want the user to put in there after they click the button. Well, to do that, I can use the input function. And I'm going to show you what that, what that looks like right now. So, Right now I have my under behavior and actions, I have my mark complete action here. And you can see where right now it's simply set up to change the status to complete. But if I wanted to create that pop-up window, I could add additional fields here. First, I'm gonna you know choose the field I want to target, and in this case, notes, right? So I want, when someone clicks complete, I want to capture additional notes or comments from the user. And then for the formula, I'm going to use input as the function. And input has two different pieces to it. First is you're essentially creating a variable that you can pass around the app. So you can give this variable whatever name, right? So I'm going to just say notes as my variable. And then the second piece is going to be some default value that you want to set in the case that there is no input uh, that's been placed in the app. Um, in this case, I'm just going to have double quotes uh, twice here to denote no comment if there's no no inputs um, that are occurring. And that's all I have to do uh, for any fields I want to be able to capture, you know, pop-up window from the user. And I can go ahead and hit save. I'm going to hit save in the app editor. And now when um, the app refreshes, as an app user here interacting with a specific task. When I click on the mark complete action, you can see there's a pop-up window here where I can add some notes and then save that as well as part of that action. So really, really quick tip that's, that's very handy in search, uh, certain situations to allow for um, uh, more fluent um, adding of data where you, you need it. In addition to this basic functionality with input, um, there's also the ability to pass values to execute an action on a set of rows, where you can actually pass a value to uh, other actions in other tables as well. And I'll make a video in the future that covers that as well. But uh, for now, you can look at the help documentation and in the, in the community forum as well, uh, just search for input, uh, the input function, and you'll get more details on how you can use that. So hopefully that's interesting. And um, yep, yeah, as always, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.